called the Thought Apocalypse. AI-generated social media influencers are exploding in popularity, and it could spell the beginning of the end for real human female OnlyFans creators. They're calling it the Thought Apocalypse. By the way, thanks, Ryan. I saw the super chat. Ellipse. Well, I am anyway. Farmer's Market vibes this Thursday. What's your fave fruit? Guys, see more of me on Patreon. No prizes, or should I say points, for guessing what else you get to see. Get it? Points. <sighs> One of the most popular AI thoughts is Mila Sophia, a 24-year-old virtual influencer and fashion model from Finland. When Mila was launched last year, most Bruh. people could tell she wasn't real, but rapid improvements in AI realism in just the last 12 months alone have pretty much closed that gap. But some idiots actually thought she was a real woman from the start and are now of course they did. hilariously angry about it. She's the hottest influencer on social media with guys around the world sending her marriage proposals. Every aspect of her ravishing looks are computer generated and that has some of her online fans upset saying they've been hoodwinked after trying to win her hey man men are in such a terrible place in the world today i told you guys months ago that whoever starts this digital pimping phenomenon is going to be rich you can't tell this is so it's so hard and this iteration is only going to keep improving dramatically as time goes by it's going to get to the point where you can't tell at all and you're going to need to analyze with a computer an actual image or a video to figure out if it's real or not. You need to like forensically analyze something because your eyeballs can't tell. Once we get to the point where you can make any kind of video based on a text demand, hey, I want you in a dark lit room wearing this, doing this with this, game over. Game over, dude. Imagine mid journey on crack. Perfection. You're a beautiful young woman. Your beauty really dazzles me. I adore you. A million dollar smile. Yeah, fellas, I'm sure you had a chance. Imagine being so naive you get catfished by computer code. Some creations are more convincing than others. This one looks like they've just badly photoshopped a fake head <laughs> to some other girl's real body. Ditto with this one. Others look like generic video game cutscene NPCs. But some are virtually indistinguishable from the real thing. <laughs> In fact, they've almost perfected that vacant, fatherless, thousand-yard OnlyFans <laughs> stare. And therein lies the problem for real flesh and blood ethos. AI bots can pump out quality content much faster at a much cheaper price. Where an OnlyFans model might charge $20 plus for a subscription to their page, a bot could produce the same photos, videos, and messages for less than half the price. And while the real ethos has to pay for her costume, her photographer, makeup, lighting, and all that jazz, some dude on a laptop can just knock up another Mila Sophia holiday pic on his lunch break. The IRL -E girl has to sit there in a single chat stream for three hours a day whereas me yeah and good luck competing thanks for the 10 george you're not flying everywhere getting all those perfect shots that ai could generate any location on planet earth it could generate locations in faraway lands we've never seen before it can make any dream come to life you can't compete dude it's a matter of time what this will will this humble women i don't think so it's not gonna stop them from the easy money of social media simps i mean again dude Men enable this behavior. If no man paid, no woman would be doing this. It's so lucrative because men have been destroyed. Mascul ma masculinity is so toxic. Being a man is so evil, you're a predator, that they don't even know what to do with themselves anymore. But pay for AI-generated content. they rather talk to chatbots. they rather sit in a dimly lit room all day under neon lights, staring at a screen, doing call-outs. Hazel, two shots left, left, left. And it's like, why is he depressed? Why is he sad? Why does he have no hope for the future? Why has he got dark thoughts all of a sudden? Why was there a public tragedy just committed that we have to look on the news and get fucking blasted nonstop? X bodies, X bodies, Y, Z, nonstop, dude, week after week after week, something's happening. Someone's writing some fucking manifesto. Someone's doing something. I wonder why, dude. Can we talk about the real problem? No, nope, ban guns. That's the argument. Commander stumbled upon your channel about a year ago. Help me get my mind and life settled. Working on some projects so I can move from this shithole called Canada. <laughs> Justin Trudeau is about to send his condolences to your house, bro. Talking like that. 
Hela could just talk to a thousand different simps at once via chat GPT, while its actual creator does literally nothing. They are not confined by human limitations, they can be in multiple places at once, speak any language, perform incredible feats and even undergo a total redesign at will. Who knew that among the first jobs to be replaced by artificial intelligence would be online thirst traps? Mm. Yeah, most OnlyFans simps will obviously always want the real thing over something AI generated. But no. what if they don't know the difference? The technology has already blurred the lines and it's only getting in better. There are now dozens of these things, new ones popping up every day. I'm totally starting a fake AI generated OnlyFans for gullible idiots if I fail at this trading thing. The point is they're already good enough to pass as real for 80% of NPC <laughs> pay pigs. Ironically, since hey, almost pigs. all of the virtual influencers are created by men, they're reappropriating wealth from OnlyFans women. It's men getting rich off other men who are paying for pictures of fake girls. No real women are involved in the entire transaction. That's a strange kind of brotherhood, isn't it? But let's talk about a far better way to invest your money. Given how unstable everything has seemingly become, the precarious state of the world is a constant concern. And that's why it's more important than ever to protect your ass too. With over 25 years of experience, 2430 or go to Leopold. Lil Michaela, created by American AI company Broad, is worth over $10 million and can earn over $10,000 in sponsorship posts. She supports Black Lives Matter and transgender rights. So the creator's <laughs> sure she only Perfect. ever expresses the correct opinions, avoiding the risk of ever being cancelled. Fashion brands like Levi are already using AI generated models, enabling massive cost cutting. But while there's an inherently creepy nature to these AI sex bots and virtual influencers, the responses to them by simps treating them like real women is both funny and tragic. Don't you just love the view from a rooftop pool? Sexiest woman alive! Yeah, not a woman and not alive. I wish I could meet you one day and give you a big hug. Not really getting this, is he? Here's this t-shirt. Nope. Bruh. Any red-blooded male complaining is zero. As always, you look stunning, and your blonde hair contrasts really well with black. Damn. It may be short, babe, but you look marvellous. I can see myself wrapping my arms around you, really forcing how beautiful I find you to be. I do apologise, however, should my hands happen to find their way to caress your backside while in an embrace. And they say romance is dead. What the fuck? Beta! What the fuck is this, dude? I do apologise, however, should my hands happen to find their way to caress your backside. Bruh. Holy shit, Chris, from 1978. You're that much of a goddamn sim from 78? Oh my god! Jesus Christ. An embrace. And they say romance is dead. Stepping in a miniskirt Monday like... This is what American men fight wars for. Wow, we find... <laughs> reason for the invasion of Iraq. AC went out of the office and parts aren't available until late in the day. Only one way to recover. Hot eyes, hot eyes, hot eyes. What well, the hell? Hot eyes, hot eyes, hot eyes. Hopefully the parts won't come in at all today. Winky face, slush face, fire, fire, fire. Hearts, 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 angel, cupid heart. Simp. But even many of the responses are obviously bots as well. Usually boomer bots like this who post their fake profile pic below the AI model. So it's literally AI clones drooling over other AI clones in some giant do you guys remember that video with the dead internet theory where 95% of content on the internet was generated by bots? Do you guys remember that video? We were covering something about the dead internet theory from I believe it was the Y files. Most of what's on the internet is fake, dude. This is why some of these companies like Google too, I think is running into problems with uh, advertisers because their numbers don't add up. People are paying for ads and the conversion rate is absolute dog shit because most of the quote ads are being shown to bots. Bots are the ones that are counting. Yeah, man, it's great. For example, okay, uh, Twitter does this too. So I think it was the Tucker with uh, President Trump. They did an interview on Twitter. It amassed something like, I don't know how many millions of views. But the way Twitter counts a view is if you're even just scrolling through the timeline and it just happens to flash on your screen, it counts as a full view. You don't have to be there for the first six or 30 seconds, 60 seconds, for the first five minutes, nothing, dude. As long as it flashed on your timeline, it counts as a view. So we don't even know, like, like videos don't break down statistically how many people are actually watching a video at least the first few minutes. Dude, I think most of the internet is fake. I, I honestly believe it's mostly bots. Like when I'm reading, even I see the bots in my own comment section. 
I started to find out which ones are the bot accounts, but I could only imagine what a nightmare this is for advertisers who are trying to pay, are paying millions of dollars to these companies. I don't know how AdSense is still a thing. I think this model is not sustainable with this new tech coming on the platforms now. It's wild, dude. AI is going to destroy the way we do internet. Haunting echoey dystopian feedback loop, philosophers J.P. Morland and William Lane Craig warn that the AI revolution will destroy actual human relationships. Men won't get married, said Morland, instead they'll spend their lives interacting with false personas that can't really love them and who they can't love either. It's a safe, riskless, but completely dead way to live life. I mean, why bother navigating the minefield of modern dating when Andrea here can be your full-time online girlfriend for $300 a month? But who to say the rise of AI porn stars isn't an ethical improvement on what we've got now. Sex work is directly linked to mental health problems, depression and loneliness, and OnlyFans creators lulled by the money soon find themselves entering a spiral of anxiety, shame and rock bottom self-esteem. Especially once they realise the utterly degenerate and pitiful nature of their customer base, the simps will remain lost in the psychotic wilderness of self-loathing and addiction. But at least if the creator is just an AI generated bot, they won't face the payload of trauma experienced by real OnlyFans girls. <laughs> It's the face. And if influencers <laughs> and OnlyFans thoughts can be artificially generated, why not Hollywood actors? One of the reasons for the recent Hollywood strike was concern over actors being digitally cloned, or entirely new AI actors being created to replace them. Netflix angered the Writers Guild of America by posting job openings for AI experts. But given the anodyne, sterile, rehashed, regurgitated dross being continually pumped out by the industry, with half the movie output now seemingly dominated by tedious franchise films that offer nothing but banal simulacrums of what went before. Half-baked predictable lines that sound like they could have been written by ChatGPT 1.0 and might as well be delivered by robots anyway. Why not just replace them all with computer code and have done with it? Yeah, Hollywood sucks now. Honestly, I'm so sick of action hero movies. I'm so sick of the same story being rewritten or rebooted or all this shit. Like, can they make something original anymore? It feels like after the 80s, early 90s, they just took a fucking nosedive in quality. And all they pump out today is like indoctrination of woke ideologies, like constantly shoved down everybody's throat. Jesus Christ, dude, make something good already without getting into politics. Thanks, Ryan. <clears throat> If you had to choose one or the other, would you deal with the worst hose or accept AI bots? Worst hose, dude. I'm doing, fuck that. I'll live life on the edge. I'm not dealing with no AI bot. No. AI bots are for like bottom feeders. That's what the bottom feeders of society are going to be uh, relinquished to. AI bots. Like men will no longer at the very bottom have any intimacy, connection with any woman, conversation whatsoever. They're going to completely fall into this dark hole of where they only get their intimacy, love, and connection from a machine, bro. So dystopian. Oh yeah, player life on the edge. Give me a toxic one over a bot any day. Nah. <laughs>